Welcome to the 2020-2021 Avenal Middle School National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony. It is truly an exciting day. I am Victoria Grabowski, president of NJHS. I just wanted to start off by saying that all of you should be so proud of yourselves. By being here, you all know what leadership is and the importance of it. It is also integral to know that by being a leader, you can achieve anything and help others with achieving their wishes as well. When being a leader, you're looked up to by so many people and it's great to know that there is a leader within every one of you. I am looking forward to hearing such great things about all of you, especially when it comes to exemplifying leadership. I would like to introduce Gianna Sheridan, who will say the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the Star Spangled Banner. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Please sit down. Good morning. My name is Maria N. and I am the Avenel Middle School National Junior Honor Society advisor. I would like to congratulate all of our new inductees and our second year members. This is your moment. You made it. You are here today because you represent everything that our National Junior Honor Society exemplifies character, citizenship, service, scholarship, and leadership. We are so incredibly proud of each and every one of you and cannot wait to see what your future holds. We would not be here today without the help of many people. It is a privilege to work alongside our advisory team and committee, Mr. Croner, Ms. Sadowski, Ms. Koss, Ms. Crumpel, Ms. Miller, Councilman Speller, and with the support of Mr. Short and Mr. Ugemeyer. Also, Mr. Samiago and Mr. Martins, and our dedicated Avenel Middle School faculty. I would like to thank all of our prestigious dignitaries that are here today, all that you will hear from today. They are a glimpse of what your future will look like as you continue your path to success. I have known all of these speakers at some level, and they have inspired me to be the teacher and person I am today. I am confident that their words of wisdom will be life-changing. The great Ruth Bader Ginsburg once said, I am really concentrate on what's on my plate at the moment and do my very best that I can. That's all I'm gonna ask each and every one of you to do today is to do your best and the rest will come in place. Thank you. I'd like to introduce our great principal, Mr. Short. Good morning, everyone. 
and welcome to Avenel Middle School on this very, very special day. We are here to celebrate these amazing students and I am so very grateful to say we are here in person. Let's give a big round of applause. I miss hearing that applause. It's wonderful to have you all here. Center field, can you hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up out there. The I, I see a lot of thumbs up, outstanding. This ceremony is also being live streamed for our guests unable to make it, so thank you to Bruno Martins and his team. First, I would like to acknowledge and thank all of our dignitaries who made the time to come and be with us today. We have with us Dr. Zagar, our superintendent, Dr. Massimino, our assistant superintendent, Mrs. Anderson, our Board of Education President. Councilman Spiller, who also serves as our Community Leadership Liaison. Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin is on his way. Mayor McCormick. Ms. Dumas, who currently is the National Honor Society President at Woodbridge High School. So she's making time to come back for our students. My right-hand man, Vice Principal Hugelmeyer, who is a tremendous supporter of everything we do here. And our National Junior Honor Society advisor, Mrs. Maria Ann and her, her team. I, I am so very proud of the job they have done this year. Uh, Mrs. Annan, her, her work ethic, her dedication, her attention to detail, her positive energy at all times, I could not imagine a better example for these students to follow. So I thank them. I often say you can, you can gauge how special a day is by the number of important people to come out and celebrate. And, and today is an exceptional group we have with us. To our parents, guardians, and families, your support this year has been second to none. The encouragement that you have provided these students and our school I can't tell you how much I appreciate it personally. And I'm thrilled you're here to be able to celebrate with us today. And most importantly, to these students, we are here to celebrate you. This is your day and it is so well deserved. Now I ask a question of not only our students, but everyone here today. Raise your hand if you have faced some form of adversity this year. And if I don't see every hand up from every person here, you're lying to the principal and we can't have that. But I will say, what is so amazing about this group of students is that through it all, all the challenges they've faced, all the obstacles, they had an unwavering expectation for themselves and they held themselves to a standard of excellence that was absolutely unwavering. This is a year when mediocrity was the best a lot of people could do. They were just trying to hang on and get through. Through all these challenges, this group held themselves to the highest level and it never wavered. And for that, they should be so very proud. Being inducted into the National Junior Honor Society means you are the best of the best. It is the gold standard for middle school students with members who have become presidents and leaders in every field. You are the future superintendents. You are the future board of education presidents. You are the future assembly speakers and mayors. With determination and hard work, there is truly nothing that you cannot accomplish. I recently came across a quote I found fitting for this year's ceremony. It reads, the most successful people see adversity not as a stumbling block, but as a stepping stone to greatness. And I see greatness for each and every one of you. I congratulate you and thank you for all you do to make Avenel Middle School such a special place. Thank you and stay Avenel strong.
Next, we will have the lighting of our candles. Each candle represents a pillar. And these representations will be made by the individuals within the National Honor Society that on, are on our board. So I'd like to call Heidi up to present character. Character is valuing diverse cultures and building relationships that reflect love of self, but also concern for others. It is about the personal commitment to ethical and compassionate decision making that affects oneself and others. Citizenship. Citizenship is accepting one's place and role in the community and seeking to understand the concerns and strengths of that community. Scholarship is a commitment to learning and growing on both a personal and educational path that stems from a desire to contribute to the world in a positive way. Service is seeking out and engaging in meaningful service voluntarily, not simply doing acts of service to fulfill a school, district, or program requirement, or to collect hours. I'd like to ask Mr. Short to come up to the podium to talk about leadership. I, I am humbled at the student's request. Uh, they asked me to come up and speak briefly about leadership. What I would tell each and every one of you, you are leaders already. My message to you is lend that helping hand. Help others around you to become leaders. And as you move up into different positions, you'll see that building a team of leaders around you will help you find success. Thank you. Next, I'd like to call Christy up, as she is the Vice President of the AMS National Junior Honor Society to give her speech. I would just like to start off by saying congratulations on being accepted into the National Junior Honor Society. Hello, my name is Christy Lai, and I'm the Vice President of NJHS. You have all been selected for a reason. You're all exceptional individuals that have exactly what it takes to be in the National Junior Honor Society. You all possess the qualities, or what we call pillars, of NJHS, which include leadership, citizenship, service, scholarship, and character. Next, my favorite report. This will be roll call of inductees. So what we're gonna do at this point is Mr. Short and Mr. Ugemeyer will stand over to my left and they will present the students with their certificates. Each student will come up and they will talk about what pillar they identify with mo most. So I'd like to call our first row of students up to the podium. And I present the 2020-21 class of the Avenel Middle School National Junior Honor Society. Good morning, my name is Evan Gibb. I identify with leadership because I believe that setting a good example for others and taking responsibility is important for personal growth and development. Good morning, my name is Jana Abdul-Wahab. 
I identify with scholarship because my adoration for learning and expanding my knowledge is the reason why I stand before you today. Good morning, my name is Haley Almeida. I identify with leadership because I think leadership is the most important quality to succeed in life. Good morning, my name is Brandon Bastille. I identify with character because I look at everyone's perspective and treat them fairly. Good morning, my name is Vanessa Benson and I identify with character because before I do or say anything, I think about how it will affect myself and others around me. Good morning, my name is Ian Coleman and I identify with leadership because I pride myself into getting people to put their heads up in difficult times. Good morning, my name is Shuti Desai. I identify with character because I want to find confidence in myself while helping others find their own. Good morning, my name is Avery Mendelista. I identify with character because I have respect for myself and make good choices. Good morning, my name is Yusuf. I identify with the leadership pillar because I feel I take charge when in situations I can be challenging to others. Good morning, my name is Madeline Graville and I identify with character because I try to make decisions best for not only myself but for others around me so we all benefit from it. Good morning. My name is Anaya Gray. I identify with character because I value the cultures and the characteristic of the one around me. I also value and accept the flaws of myself and the people closer to me. Good morning. My name is Valentin Guzman. I identify myself with character because I always respect and accept everyone and their points of view. Good morning, my name is Renee Howard. I identify as a scholarship pillar because I want to continue to learn each and every day for the rest of my life while contributing to the world in the most positive, effective way. Good morning, my name is Ola Thompson Joel. I identify with scholarship because I work hard for my education and I strive to learn more. Good morning, my name is Chaitanya Kanagal. I identify with character because it includes traits that are necessary for all actions and circumstances. Good morning, my name is Ava Kurja. I identify with citizenship because I am mindful of donating my time and service to help organizations succeed. I believe the world is a better place if we can give back and support local causes. Good morning, my name is Mexico Mani Roman and I identify with the pillar of character because I consider everyone's point of view and, make, try, and try to make reasonable and informed decisions. Good morning, I'm Emmanuel Nayotis. I identify with character. It has always been a core value in my life from a very young age and it helps me deal effectively with others. Good morning. My name is Joshua Parks. I identify with the pillar of leadership because I'm a positive influence on my school and my community. Good morning. My name is Hidden Pillar. I choose the best way in the pillar character because I believe once in the culture can do this something more good better to our community. I was ever did them to come an open mind and bring support to 
Um, I was just said this American pot. Good morning. My name is Jillian Robson. I identify with service because I enjoy helping others in my community and being involved with service projects. Good morning. My name is Leila Saladin. I identify with leadership because I am able to make decisions that will impact people in a positive way. I am able to lead a group of people into success. Good morning. My name is Agam Jogzandu. I identify with scholarship because I work hard to achieve and maintain good goals. Good morning. My name is Rohit Vajala. I identify with service because I love to help out anywhere help is needed. Not for reward or service hours, but it makes me feel good. Good morning. My name is Christina Aina. I identify with service because I help assist people around the neighborhood during the summer. Also volunteering to go to a shelter every year to help out their community. Good morning, my name is Jane Batista. I identify with Scholarship Pillar because I love to learn new things that I may be able to help to use to help others. Good morning, my name is Maricela Cardona. I identify with the Leadership Pillar because I foster leadership in and outside of the classroom by keeping up with my responsibilities. Good morning, my name is Gracie Graybell and I identify with scholarship because I enjoy the trials and errors of learning and I hope to use my education in an impactful way. Good morning, my name is Sheva Jamal. I identify with character because I am honest in the work I do and communicating with others is very important to me. Good morning, my name is Joel Moreno and I identify with the pillar of leadership because very often I am put into positions where there may be a group of people who may need to be lifted up. I find myself often leading others to do the right thing. Good morning, my name is Isabella Ramos. I identify with characters because I am compassionate to friends, family, and those around me. Good morning. My name is Daniel Tabon. I, ident I identify with scholarship because I desire to run about interesting topics. I also make sure to do all of my school work. At this time, we would like to introduce six inductees that were unable to attend today and recognize them. Melanie Alejandro, Tanush Shandell, Nathaniel Garcia, Ashleen Kaur, Alexa Mercado Alvarado, and Soham Bagat. It is an honor and privilege to present our guest speakers here today. From the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank each and every one of you for coming today, taking time out of your schedule. Our first speaker is Dr. Robert Zega, who was our Woodbridge Township Superintendent. Thank you. Good morning. It's an, uh, my pleasure to be the first to congratulate this year's class of the National Junior Honor Society here at Avenel Middle School. And um, also a special thank you to Mr. Short and his staff for getting us all back where we belong, and that is, of course, back together. So thank you, Mr. Short, great job. Congratulations to everyone who, not only our new members today, but your families, your friends, and also to our two-year members. And you've done a great job in, in this especially trying year. 
If you'll indulge me, I'd like to talk to you a little bit today about why we're gathered here, and that is, of course, honor. We all know how honorable people act. We all know that honorable people have good citizenship and are honest and are, have integrity. But what exactly is honor? Where does it come from? How do you get it? If you allow me, I will tell you what I've learned about honor. Honor is unique because honor is not something that somebody gives to you. Honor is something you give to yourself. Honor is something that comes from within. Because of the decisions you've made and how you've lived your life, we are here today not to give you honor, but to recognize your honor. And that is truly a pleasure for us. Honor doesn't come from a pin or a certificate or a ceremony. Honor is something that you give to yourself. Honor is something that you've demonstrated long before you sat down in these chairs this morning. So thank you for that and congratulations. Honor is also something, it's not part time. Honor is full time. You can't be honorable during the week and not honorable on the weekends. It's 24 seven. You are here today because you have committed to consistently act honorably. Congratulations for that also. As you move on to high school and college and beyond, continue to act honorably. Keep honor in your heart where it came from. Don't ever let anyone take it away from you. Only you can decide to act honorably. You've done that. We recognize you for it. You've done a great job and you've made us all proud. So thank you for inviting me here this morning to help celebrate your honorable actions. It's truly been an honor. Thank you. Thank you for your words of wisdom. It is now my honor to introduce Dr. Joseph Massimino, our Assistant Superintendent of Rubish Township Schools. Hello, everyone. First, I'd like to thank the administration, Mr. Short, Mr. Hugelmeyer, Ms. Annan and her staff, and everybody who contributed to putting this together. It's an honor to sit up here with so many dignitaries. I want to thank the students for letting me be a part of this. And I'd also like to thank the parents and the families at home. You, as much as anyone, have endured what this pandemic has brought. And your students are sitting up here for no small part for the huge contributions you make on a daily basis. So the only thing that I would ask all of the inductees and last year's inductees to do at some point today is to say thank you to the people at home that make sure every day you get to give it your best. The pillars of an honor society go through everything you do. But I feel like this pandemic and the last year and a half almost has given you a skill set that people far older struggle to attain. And there's a couple key points of what you've acquired that you may not realize you've acquired. You've acquired perspective, how you see things, how to look at them differently, how to understand how different people see things. Perspective is important now, it'll be important tomorrow, it'll be important every day that you continue to grow as a young adult, as a professional, as a leader. You've learned about perseverance. It's an understatement to say that what you've had to do, how hard you've had to work to get here was different than those before you. I'm sure you've seen how your parents and families and friends have worked to make sure that despite whatever the circumstances are that life continues on and the opportunities are there. And the last one is ingenuity. You have had to be more creative than any students before you. And that makes me feel good. As one of the people that you'll take care of as you get older, because I'll be much older, I'm happy to know that the future problems of the world are going to be addressed by you because you are going to have the future solutions and you are going to take us in the direction 
to make us a better community and a better society. The one thing that was consistent of all the students that came up here, when you talked about your connection to different pillars, was your understanding of community. It is flat out impressive. I attribute that to the people behind you and in your homes and in your lives. I attribute that to the staff members and the administration here at Avenel Middle. I attribute that to the leadership in the community. Please don't lose that. Continue to move things forward, continue to make progress, and we'll continue to be in good hands. Congratulations to all of you, and best of luck. Our nation is a beautiful place to live in. And I feel very honored to be a part of Woodbridge Township School District. We have the greatest board of education. They work hours upon hours endlessly to making our schools the best that they could be. So it is now my privilege to introduce Ms. Marie Anderson, president of the Woodbridge Township Board of Education. Thank you for that lovely introduction. Good morning, Mr. Short, distinguished faculty, students, parents, and friends. It is a pleasure for me to be here today representing our Board of Education to honor you, the newly elected members of the National Junior Honor Society. On behalf of the board, I would like to extend a hearty congratulations to each of you. As you all know, admission to the National Junior Honor Society is one of the most impressive accomplishments that can be attained by a middle school student. During a worldwide pandemic, where we had to close in-person classes and fully pivot to online learning, you have been recognized as an outstanding student and you should take the opportunity to enjoy this honor and be proud of your achievement. As new challenges face you in the future, I encourage you to use the same determination and commitment to meet those challenges as you have to use to secure your membership in this most prestigious association. I am sure that you will rise to meet those new challenges with the same skill and good judgment that you have here today. I know that you have worked extremely hard to reach this goal, and today you have been set apart from the rest of your classmates. It is my guess, however, that the encouragement and support you received from your parents, guardians, and teachers also have also played a large part in your success. They are also to be commended and applauded. I hope that you will remember how proud and happy you are today, that you carry this feeling into the future. If you do, I'm confident you will continue to be successful, not only during your middle school years, but throughout your future as well. Thank you all for allowing me to share this moment with you. And again, on behalf of the Board of Education of the Township of Woodbridge, I congratulate you and wish you continued success in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Our next speaker is no stranger to Avenel Middle School. Actually, I do not think the word no is in his language at all because every time I ask him to do something, he is always there. He is our liaison to our community service club, and now he is our liaison to our Avenel Middle School National Junior Honor Society. It is with great privilege and honor that I introduce Councilman Corey Speller. Good morning. Thank you for the uh, kind words, Miss Annan. It is really nice to see you guys and girls. It really is. It, it, first of all, give yourselves a big round of applause. You guys and girls have been through so much over the last 14 months. And for you to be here is just a testament of how special you guys are and how special this school is. Um, you know, having children, we all have children, but having to see it on a daily basis of what you're faced with and you're, be, you're able to persevere and go through it and you're sitting here is just absolutely outstanding. So phenomenal job. I want to thank Mr. Short, Ms. Annan, all your advisors. Um, thank you again for the invitation. Mr. Short, Mr. Hugemar, I always say this. Thank you for inviting me into your family um, and allowing me to be part of your family. I want to thank all the dignitaries. 
One thing that our great Mayor McCormick taught me and said years ago is, you're gonna go through high school and you're gonna start filling out applications and you're gonna think that it's really you know, what you do, sophomore, or junior, senior year, and it's not. And I see this as my Emily's filling out college applications. They wanna know what you're doing in elementary school. They wanna know what you're doing in middle school. And this goes so far and you should be really, really proud of yourselves. And as the other speakers said, just keep doing what you're doing. You, you know, honor, you're special. Um, you're, you're ready to rock and roll. And uh, to the parents and the families, you should give yourselves a big round of applause too because not only what you're doing, but the last 14 months has been as stressful on you as these students trying to figure out, oh, no, today's an A day. I don't even know what day it is for my, student, my kids and I'm their father. So it's just so tough, but outstanding job. So once again, congratulations. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you know, I see so many faces that when I saw you in kindergarten, when you were calling me Farm and Corey, and I was telling you how to do stop, drop, and roll, and get out and stay out. So I can't wait to see you uh, as you get uh, next year and through high school. Thank you very much. Have a good day. It is an honor to introduce our next speaker. I need to digress a little bit because when my daughter was your age, she made a phone call and she interviewed our next speaker. And because of him, she became a lawyer. So it is my honor to introduce Assemblyman Craig Copley. Well, thank you for that, Ms. Annan, and thanks for remembering that. And thank you all uh, for letting me be here today and to be part of this ceremony, Mr. Short, Mr. Yugemeyer, thank you. And you guys really know how to pack them in. I mean, look at the gallery of folks who have come to say congratulations. So Dr. Zaga and Dr. Massimino, Mayor McCormick, Councilman Spiller, President uh, Anderson, I'm, pl I'm pleased and privileged to be able to be with you today. Mostly I'm pleased and privileged to be with all of you today. Now, this is really the first measure of great success that you've had, the first public chance we've had to say to you, hey, we understand that you guys have done really well. So congratulations on doing something and achieving something incredibly uh, meaningful. And to your parents, thank you for the work that you've done in bringing your sons and daughters and your, the people you love here today and helping them to be the success that they are. You know, uh, it's, it's truly a remarkable achievement uh, and the result of real hard work and dedication that every student should be proud of. Uh, we've heard about the five pillars uh, of the New Jersey Middle School uh, uh, society, Honor Society. Character, citizenship, uh, scholarship, service, and leadership. Now all of those touch on different aspects of how to be a great student, but also they set the stage for how to be successful and exemplary individuals beyond your schoolwork, beyond academics. All of those, each of those pillars uh, challenge uh, us as we should work hard, as things we should work hard on every day. You've recognized that respecting your peers and celebrating diversity are characteristics that we need, whether we're talking to someone in a grocery store or working with them on a group project. Working to strengthen your community allows you to create an environment that's comfortable for everyone. And as we all know, it can be hard to consistently commit toward learning and educating ourselves, especially in the viral, uh, viral, the virtual learning environment that you've had to perform. And nevertheless, you've adapted and you've con and succeeded. Seeking those opportunities, building on those pillars of, uh, that you exemplify here today are gonna make you great citizens uh, and strengthen our community in the decades to come. I'm privileged to be with you today. Thank you for all your hard work. Keep it up, your great successes. Be proud of what you've achieved and work hard to continue that as you move to high school and college and life. You're gonna make a difference in the world. We know that because you've already made a difference. Thank you very much, pleasure to be with you. Our next speaker needs no introduction, but I'm still gonna introduce you. Um, I wanna thank him because he is the reason, as well as our administration and our Board of Education, that we're all able to be here today. We enjoy his phone calls, 
a few times a week, his amazing jokes, and for keeping us all so safe. So it is my honor to introduce Mayor McCormick. Thank you very much. I first want to congratulate the leadership of Avenel Middle School for the outstanding culture that they have created here. Principal Short, Vice Principal Hugelmeyer, all the teachers and staff, and especially Miss Annan, uh, who's got me on speed dial. I have her on speed dial. I've been at Avenel Middle School so many times over the past 14 and a half years, not the last 14 months, but over the past 14 and a half years because of all the service work that you do for our community. So congratulations to everybody involved with Avenel Middle School. I want to congratulate all the students because you've done something that you're going to have to do for the rest of your life. And that is you have distinguished yourself from your peers. There are 630 students in the 7th and 8th grade at Avenel Middle School. There are 39 of you here. Some of your best friends are not here, your classmates are not here. But you are here and that is something that you should be incredibly proud of. Maybe 5 or 6% of the whole two classes is here for the National Junior Honor Society. But I will encourage you and challenge you not to stop there. You are going to go to high school very shortly and before you know it, you'll be like Corey said, talking about college applications and thinking of where you wanna go and what you wanna be. And you're gonna have a one page piece of paper that's gonna define your whole life up until that point. And when that piece of paper says National Honor Society, the person who reads it will know all about you even though they might never meet you. They're not gonna be the one that decides to get into the, whether you get into the college or not, they're just gonna get you to that first step. And they'll know you have good character, they'll know you're a good citizen, they'll know you're a scholar, they know you're a leader, and more importantly, they know you care about community service. And that is so very important. So today is terrific, enjoy it, it's a great honor, but don't stop here. When you get to Colonia High or wherever you're gonna to go to high school, Start thinking about what you have to do to become a member of the National Honor Society. That is the next step and that is the biggest step. So once again, I want to congratulate you and all your staff for this terrific school and enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Please don't sit down. Can you come up here and announce the second year students' names? Thank you. I'm sorry, I forgot. I was thinking about my next joke Friday. I'd like to now honor or call up, am I calling them up or just? No, okay. All of the second year members of the National Junior Honor Society Denise Shali, Ananda Ames. Jocelyn Banco, Zachary Barr, historian, Juliana Bechtold, Israel Carranza, Habiba Fami, Victoria Garbowski, Harim Khan, secretary, I'm sorry, Victoria President, Harim Khan, secretary, Christy Lai, vice president, Joseph Mabithi, Ariba Mir, secretary, Danielle Moore, Gabriella Montalvo, Heidi Neiser, historian, Nishka Pandya, Yug Parik, Gabriella Rosani, Marissa Santiago, Gianna Sheridan, Angelina Smolder, Riley Stevens, and Kelly Young. Congratulations to all of you. Next, I'd like to introduce my uh, right-hand person, Mr. Croner, who has endured my thousands of questions, seven in the morning, 10 at night. So I just wanna thank you for your patience um, with me being new to this process. He, him and Ms. Krumpold, as well as the rest of the advisory committee has really helped me. I'd like us all to give him a big round of applause. He has been on this committee for 15 years. So I'd like to invite him to come up for the pledge. Okay, would all members please stand. Please repeat after me. I pledge myself to uphold 
The high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected. Striving in every way, by word and deed, to make its ideals the ideals of my school and of my life. Please be seated. Some of you will be going to different high schools, particularly Woodbridge High School. So it is my privilege to introduce Kiara Dumas, the Woodbridge High School National Honor Society President. Good morning, staff and students of Avenel Middle School, and congratulations on your induction into the Honor Society this year. It's one of the highest honors you could have received as a middle school scholar, because a scholar is what you truly are. It's what has gotten you this far in your academics, and it's what you should strive to continue in your journeys throughout middle school and on to high school. This is your preparation for your future. This induction right here, right now, in this very moment, is one of the most important milestones in your educational journey. I haven't introduced myself yet, personally, so of course you have no idea who I am, aside from that introduction, but rest assured, I'm not a random person from across the street. Um, I am the president of Woodbridge High School's National Honor Society, and it's my honor and privilege to meet the students that are my successors and that are the future leaders as I graduate. Just as my peers and I are currently, I was once in your shoes, exactly, working diligently on problems I didn't understand and striving to solve them, and that's my biggest advice to you today. As you've raised your hand in class and asked the questions no one else would, worked down on that one thing as hard as you could to nail it perfectly, accumulated your hobbies, and saw a need that you filled, I can promise you continuing habits and behaviors like this will bring further accomplishments just as rewarding as this one. As I've learned over my time as a high school student and in the National Honor Society, one of the most crucial things you can do for the benefit of yourself, fellow students, and citizens to come is starting what hasn't been started for you. As an Honor Society student, I've realized that one of the greatest tasks we're asked to complete is becoming one who's resourceful and one who takes initiative. You will be faced with challenges just as you have been before, and they may get increasingly harder bad days, impossible assignments, all the hard work you've put in to get to this point doesn't go away after this point. You will have to work 10 times harder to stay exactly as special as you are now. Yet have no doubt that you have potential to understand and gain experience and skills to continue over the bumpy, chaotic challenges that's the ever so beneficial journey of education. I mentioned that you are all scholars. You're scholars not just because you're smart and you, have, you do what you have to do every step of the way. You're scholars because you're resilient to the changes that we have faced as students over the past months. You've taken what you've learned and you've applied it. And that's why you're here. And now you have to take what you've been given, this honor and this scholarship and this honor society and combine these worlds for your ultimate success. Lastly, it's important to remember that you, all of you scholars, are being inducted to an honor society you're collectively a group. And I've given you some advice on how to work on the individual, your personal success, and I've told you the essentiality of becoming resourceful and starting your own path. But it's also important that, to remember that in order to be resourceful, you have to rely on the collaboration of others. To start something, you need to rally people together to help you put it in motion for the betterment of everyone, your community, and your service. I myself have learned especially that there's nothing wrong with needing a team to reach a common goal. This is your team. The person to your left and your right, behind you, in front of you, that's your future. These are the people that you will likely spend the rest of your high school journey with and that there's no problem with rallying together in order to create a big difference as you have done already. So I prompt you to take advantage of this. Once again, congratulations to you all on your accomplishments and successes. I wish you many more and the very best of luck on your educational journey from here on out. And for our closing remarks, last but certainly not least, our incredible Vice Principal, 
Mr. Eaglemeyer. Thank you, Ms. Annan. And good morning to the dignitaries, the teachers, parents, family members, and our newly induct inducted uh, NJHS members and second year members. I want to repeat the sentiment. I am just so grateful to be here speaking to you face to face and to your parents and your family members face to face. I can't even express how grateful I am for that. I want to thank everyone for attending this important event today, uh, a ceremony and a celebration such as this is very moving. Um, it generates a great sense of pride and gratitude in me. Uh, I'm proud of you guys, the inductees. Uh, it's a tremendous accomplishment. I'm proud of our school district and all of your teachers over the years that have helped guide you to this very moment. I'm proud that as you leave this school and you go out into our community, you are representatives of Avenel Middle School and what we stand for here. I'm grateful to your parents and guardians who have instilled in you the values of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship. These are values that our school community gets to benefit from each day when you come to school. So well done to all for that. So since I'm the last speaker for this ceremony, I just wanted to leave you with some practical advice for when you leave here today. Scholarship, service, character, citizenship, they're all extremely important values, but as Victoria said in the opening remarks, leadership is the value that empowers all of the other values. And that's what empowers you to change our world for the better. Our world needs great leaders and you are the next generation of great leaders. If you lead, others will follow. So I, I know you said the pledge a moment ago with uh, Mr. Croner, the official one, but here's an unofficial one. So repeat after me. If I lead, others will follow. That's a very important responsibility that you have. And this is how you can change the world. Continue to value learning and be a lifelong le learner. If you lead in this way, others will follow and do the same. Continue to serve your community and those less fortunate to you than you. If you lead in this way, others will follow and do the same. Continue to have integrity and do the right thing even when no one is watching. Most likely someone is watching, and if you lead in this way, others will follow and do the same. Continue to educate yourselves on the issues that impact our community and advocate for positive change through the framework of our democracy. If you lead in this way, others will follow and do the same. And then just like that, you've changed the world. You've influenced so many people. So I wish you all the best of luck. I have the utmost confidence that you're going to be able to accomplish this. Congratulations. Before we end today, um, we would like to say how proud we are of every single student here. But we would like to recognize and give one more round of applause and just for our second year members because they were inducted last year via Zoom and this year because of regulations or we're not able to have family members here but they have organized they have helped and they have done everything and they didn't have this exact moment last year so one more time please give a round of applause for our second year members thank you